Hey, V. Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Tom, how'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just a different program. You're great at that. I am not so glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. Got it? And Maiko, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News, and this is your local latest. The you two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. The identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response, got a jack into the panel on the other side. Soldier, no. But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. 
You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. You gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevator's on the other side. Be safe. For news, offer our sincerest condolences. With the NCPD's cooperation, Milotech has already announced a... How's the sitch? We're inside in clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Tiancha, come quad for the soul. on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? On my mark. Go! Wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too.
Oh, Jesus, fuck! Floor's clear! I killed him! I killed them all! Same here! Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. No! You do it today, or you for- beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Not all girls have to be nice, Johnny. Besides, she's got to deal with the gang. She shouldn't be. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. We get this over with. Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my I know face. The claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sado's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sado's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me you now, mean, speaking with focus. such zeal? What's there to focus on? She's screwing With your us. permission. Over my dead body, we were gonna Stop get rid you. of her. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Romy's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the dolls to fuck one another instead? Michael will make sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose unless you tell him with which hand to do it. One last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. 
If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Skimping from the get-go. <laughs> You'll make a fab boss. Can tell already. Touche. Here's a bonus. Let's go celebrate my first day. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. You just stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. Changes this big need to come gradually. Revolution always sounds great in theory. Night City's about wheeling and dealing. That's where you and I differ. For you, it's about profit. For me, it's about the people. First casualties of revolution? Revolutionaries. Bring anarchy to clouds and it'd go to shit. Everybody wind up on the street. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away. I just, this ain't how I imagine things panning out. But, guess I should get used to it. No matter what you do, life's always gonna throw you a curveball. Evelyn wanted everything in one go, too. And, uh, immediately. That's true. I'd always tell her that. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, V. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. Embarrassed to invite the workers over? Apartment with three wooden shoulders. Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives and limbs. Yeah, at least I could do. So what's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding laws. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then what do you think about constructs? Ah, yes. You mean the relic. A fashionable subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person, or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. Let's say the engram was just a copy. What then? Could you say that person was... real? If they are truly self-aware, a Buddhist will recognize them as a human being. A perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mind. But is it capable of reincarnation? And if it's not, can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul? What you're saying, in other words, is it's complicated. Suffering is key. It has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, it is a person. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher in your hey, view? Gigs all set Buddhism up does not condemn life. digitization Tonight. per se. At the red dirt. Bending machine. Dr. Carey? Often preaching temples. Didn't change his mind or anything? No. 
I will not condemn the simple act of transfer. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Under the condition Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. One must still what remember about Henry? that they will still be still imprisoned on in their body. Didn't even even if their body is not, not flesh. My breath on that Immortality is new thing. Well, so... He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life and will never achieve nirvana. What's your take, Johnny? You just you or a copy? What difference does it make? You heard him. I'm trapped in a few lines of code and your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead. Maybe you're just in... well... What? Imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem, not mine. You don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great. So he booted me out of his life. What happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How you feeling, the head of the show? Weird, like I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please, Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time, just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Now you mention it? It's getting worse. Maybe this gig isn't worth it. Fine, go out and play. I'll just sit back, tend to my bleeding ears. 
Okay. Fine. You got me. Have fun. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of them. He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. Let's do this. Fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? 
Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. Johnny! Oh! He's gone, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but he can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. Uh, how's the gig? Hellopreme! Samurai's found its new groove. Damn shame I had to miss it. There, nah, can still come to my show. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah, and earlier. And never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and. Woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. V, how you feeling? Can't believe that asshole Carrie just up and left you like this. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. Hope that's it for last requests. Not sure I can handle any more. It is, and I'm starting to regret you agreed to this concert thing. Huh. Here I thought I'd hear, thank you, V. Said it was important to you, this thing with Carrie. It was. But not more important than you. Carrie's got his life back. Whereas we should be worrying about how to get yours back. Let's go. Uh, excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kinda spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Uh, okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh shit. You ain't with the cops, are ya? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew! Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, check in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? Hmm. Have to think on it. Mm, sure, sure. Need anything? I'm here.
Might even be worse than your place. Uh huh. Suffocated looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town. Guy won the jackpot. Gonna puke. Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent.
looking at me, you pervert ass punk? Ugh.
Don't stop. So, V, the beta assets secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for ten bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. The Aldecaldo camp. Well, I'll be damned. I know you. Saw you back at the Aldecaldo camp. They call you V, right? The one and only. Oh, did someone from the family send you here? Now, why do I get the feeling something's wrong? What have you gotten yourselves into? Carolyn Castor here to close the deal with the scavengers. We purloined some cyberware for them. And? And it's taken a mere eternity. Something isn't right. I'll go and take a look. Make sure everything's okay. Wait, wait. It's just... Well, they could get real sore about... Just keep a lookout. Received. What's the pr Sorry to interrupt. How's it going? Close the deal yet? V, what are you doing here? Who is this? Thought I'd drop by, you know. Make sure everyone's playing fair. Who the fuck is this? They call me V. I don't give an ass licking fuck what they call you. What are you trying to pull him, huh? There's some kind of scare tactic? Simmer down now. He's with us. Can you count to fucking three? One, two, three! That's how many you're supposed to be! Even money was also supposed to be here. But I can't see any. How about we get this over with, Roman? We were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15. Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the edges. Must be outside your mind, V. Why do you come here? You can't trust the scavs. Nothing ever ends well with them. Save as you're patronizing, V. We knew the risk, but... We really need this money. Like, badly. Hush up now! You can conversate all you want later. Funny. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get-go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out at Watson. Sandra Dorset. Thought we'd forget, huh? We're done here. Good. I was starting to get a headache from all your bitching. Kill them all! Uh, Sniper! Can... Someone take him out! Ah! Oh.
Why do you think they had a sniper? It would have ended up like this anyway. Maybe. Never find out now, will we? Let's not get torn up now, you hear? You never know if your bad luck has spared you from worse luck. You charged into the lion's den to help us, V. Why? Because you listened to your heart. That's a rare thing. Especially out here. Some things, money just can't buy. Speaking of money, can't just leave it sitting around. Thanks for everything, V. So long now.
one point of dissent. Do I need to show you what'll happen to this bill if you, the people of Night City, Baby. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Hmm. You know your shit and you've got good taste. Meat Beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want any. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? But this won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. Done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver? They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Uh, sorry. Uh, sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? I think it's got what it takes. This isn't just about speed. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Well, rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Your car, mine? You'll be on the pedals. You decide. There a carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. 
that happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Hold it, Worm. You think you can just get in for free? What is this place? If you don't know, then you sure as hell don't belong. Anyone else? Got a fight lined up here. That's so. Don't look familiar to me. You fresh meat here? Could say that. Well, watch yourself then. They don't like strangers here. One wrong look, and you're crawling through the gutter on busted legs. But you defeat me. I can vouch for you to the right folks. You could use the equipment. Meet with the trainer, that kind of stuff. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'd say you're welcome, but there's still the matter of defeating me. And full disclosure, I've never lost a fight. Say, who's running this club? Name's Logan Garcia. Used to be the best damn boxer in Night City. Who knows? Maybe in all the states. Not overselling it a bit there? Just watch him in action. You'll see. We not throwing any eddies on this match? No. When the cash comes in, it just muddles the whole sport. I'm here for fights, and the fights alone. You say you've never lost. I say there's a first time for everything. Ha! Sorry to say, you'll be disappointed. Come on. Got any good tech under the hood? Sensory filters, rotors, boosted core? You're about to find out. Ha! Ah! Truth! Truth! All right then. Shall we? Let's get to it. Good luck! You'll need it. Can't hurt to look.
Calm down. Calm down? You want fucking calm? Oh, I... Uh, I'm so sorry. You're not used to losing. I know. Mm-hmm. And I don't ever want to be. Listen, I'm done for today. But first, I'll make sure no one bothers you. Make yourself at home. Yeah, fuck you up. Hey, come on, no chest pounding. Gary? Uh, Donald? V this time. Surrender Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. Don't really get how that show of yours works. Simple. Imagine the Johnny's along. Finishes another time. 
Right, so then what? Mm-hmm. Know them. You don't got no ticket either. Whatever. In any case, I'm at the wheel. And rather keep it that way. I got it. You'll work too. I right. cool. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malabra. Early morning. Cool. You lost or something? Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? Nope, use mine for smokes. And wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. Don't mind me. Kind of hard when you're hovering over us, huh? Don't you got somewhere to be? What's in the briefcase? What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, pff, probably nothing. Cans? Uh, maybe bottles? <laughs> Who knows? How'd you find that? Doesn't take an expert to see it's corp owned. You from the lost and found or something? Hey, if it isn't your biz, then don't go making it. How much to take it off your hands? Hmm. Nah, uh, let me think. Fine, here you go. Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? I said, where? The, those dumpsters, over there! For fuck's sake, Josh! Look, it wasn't us, all right? Gunk was already cold, we swear! Wait, really? And here I had you pegged for top-tier mercs. Now get out of my way. Fine, take it. But, like, chill the fuck out, okay? Open sesame. Well, look what we have here. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? 
I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. <laughs> you really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh... Is this a date? You're not my type, Paul. Just show up. I'll see you there.